Uh, we were just talking about some of the things that Lighthouse uh, Services does. We talked about how you honor the veterans and that sort of thing. But you're back this Saturday morning with a special event, the Blessing of the Bikes. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, yes, this is a very important um, event to me because I'm personally a, a rider myself. My husband and I both ride, and I have several family members who ride. And so in the past few years, I've lost several friends because of motorcycle safety and people that are driving and not paying attention. And um, so I just wanted to um, put something together for myself <laughs> and all of the uh, motorcycle riders in Amarillo. We're hopeful that a lot of people will show up. We're going to have a couple of ministers there to just pray for us to have a safe riding season this year. And I would love everyone to show up at 10 o'clock and, um, Come and be blessed. We're at 3707 Wolfland Avenue. We're going to have um, a medallion to give every rider. And also we'll have a small breakfast, uh, donuts and coffee for everyone. We'll take a short ride uh, led by a specific group. And then we'll be back at the funeral home parking lot for lunch for anybody that wants to purchase it. You know, uh, I know this is for bikes. Now, we're talking motorcycles, so if I show up with my bicycle, I'm out of luck, right? Well, you can show up and be blessed, but I don't know that you'll be able to keep up during the ride, so we welcome you. Okay. <laughs> Unless you're a really fast peddler. That's it. That's it. Uh, the perception of what we think a biker is has changed over the last 10 to 15 years. We, we once thought, oh, the outlaws are some of the, the, the groups that ride bikes here in our community are some of the most generous and giving people on the face of the earth. It, it really has become, it's almost a kinship of family, uh, the core of bikers in, in our area. That uh, is true. Not the roughneck, the, the, the motorcycle gang. The, they do so much, everything from uh, a support children of abuse to uh, toy runs and that sort of stuff. It, it's a family atmosphere for bike riders nowadays, isn't it? That's absolutely true. And I'm really honored to have met uh, one of the ladies that leads the lady riders here in Amarillo. And they raise money for single moms and um, they do that all year. So I'm really, really glad to have gotten to meet her through this project. And um, we welcome them tomorrow as well. I can't wait to meet them in person. We've just met over the phone. But yes, they're, they're very philanthropic in their work. And um, there's a lot of us that do that. Hey, your your company, Lighthouse uh, Services, Funeral Directors and Services, you're you're pretty well tuned into that too. Is, is this a unique thing for a business like this to do things like blessing of the bikes? And we'll talk a little in a few minutes about some other things you do in the community. But is it is this just a unique thing that that Lighthouse does as a as a as a provider of this service? I think it is. I think all of the funeral homes in Amarillo probably do stuff to some degree. We all try to be involved in the community. Um, it's very important to us uh, to, for people to know that we're here for them, not just when someone passes away, which, of course, we're honored to be able to do that. But we do serve the community in other ways as well. And we provide monthly projects uh, in the community where they can come in and learn about different topics. And it's all free of charge. So. Yeah, we're, I, we're happy to do that. I got familiar with your company uh, a couple of years ago when uh, Judge Nancy Turner, Potter, Tanner, Potter County Judge, uh, found remains of some veterans in the courthouse. Uh, people that had not claimed these remains after they passed away. Uh, uh, we Back in the day, what do we call them, the pauper or the... the yeah, pauper. Pauper Gray. And, and, and she, Lighthouse said, listen, we, we, this can't stand. This, we can't that these these men and women have did uh they've served this country and and they deserve honor and you guys start putting together and having services for them uh and you've got one coming up at the end of the month we're gonna have you back to talk about that but uh, that type of community involvement and that type of uh act in blessing of the bikes things like this it, it really means a lot to the people here in this community. And I just want to take the time out and say thank you. Thank you, folks at Lighthouse, for doing that. As a veteran. Thank you. Thank it, you so much. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, coming it, up, that's yeah. coming up here uh, on the 19th, David, and we, we can talk about that later. But, yeah, yes, uh, our involvement with uh, Judge Tanner as well as other organizations here in town have uh, really brought uh, our veterans, our missing veterans to light. So. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it just it's just that last degree of respect and due diligence. And, uh, it, it, Lighthouse is located at uh, 3707 Wolfland Avenue. Uh, you can call and reserve a spot for tomorrow morning, 806-418-6509. Uh, it kicks off at 10 a.m. Saturday, the blessing of the bikes. And this is the start of the riding season. It's going to be beautiful weather this weekend. And it's a great way to fellowship with your fellow riders and, and meet some great folks here in the community. You don't want to miss it. Uh, once again, Miss Patricia, what are some of the activities they can do? Well, we're going to have um, coffee and donuts before we leave. Then we'll have the blessing. Everyone that shows up will also get a little pocket medallion that we ordered that came from Jerusalem. So we're excited about that. And uh, we'll take a short ride and then we'll come back to the funeral home parking lot where there's going to be a food truck for anyone who wants to purchase food from Patty's Cocina. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Great event. Yeah. Again, of the bikes. This sounds like ahead, a great Jeff. event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. Thank you all so much. It's something needed in the community. Sometimes you just need to gather. Yes, right. for sure. Right. And usually when you talk about funeral services, it's on a bad note. But this isn't a bad note. This is, this is to avoid them. We do not want yeah. any. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I lost three friends a few years ago. Oh. All three of them were ministers, un- amazingly. And um, they were all just kind of minding their own business and got hit by motorists who weren't paying attention. Yeah. And That's- so it's very important to me personally. And so I, I know it's important to our community as well. Yeah, I'm looking. It, the numbers are growing more, more people uh, riding uh, bikes nowadays, and, and it, we've got to respect them. We've got to pay attention to them. Go ahead, Chuck. You know, that's the way I'm looking at this, now, <clears throat> especially important from the cyclist standpoint, but this is really an educational me- measure, it seems to me, wherein you, you actually learn respect of the rider and the cycle itself. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. You don't want to miss it. Blessing of the bikes taking place 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Joe, you had something to say. Go ahead. I was just going to say it's not just for the bikers so much as but for the those that drive four wheel vehicles as well to be aware. Yep. Yep. Come on out. Anybody's welcome. If you don't have a bike, they'll welcome you into that. Yes, house. please come out anyway. We'd yep. love to have a good crowd there. Come on out Saturday, 10 a.m. Uh, they're located at 3707 Wolfland Avenue. We're going to be back uh, before the 19th and tell you a little bit about the service. Uh, this year, they're going to uh, lay to rest uh, some women veterans, uh, Gulf War veterans, my 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 ter- tenure and term. And uh, thank you, Lighthouse. Thank you guys. for watching. Thank you all so much. Very important. We're going to take a break. We'll be back to wrap up this Friday edition of The Chat right here on Newsday Amarillo, News Channel 10.